everyone, this is Susie, and today we're going to be making some pomegranate agua fresca, agua fresca de granada. And this is what we will be needing, some pomegranates, water, and your sweetener of choice, either um, vegan cane sugar or some stevia, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is obviously get the seeds out, and I'm not going to do that because I know there's already many videos on YouTube that you can go watch and see whichever one works best for you, whatever method you like to take the seeds out of the pomegranate. Uh, go ahead and do that, okay? And we'll be back. Okay, so I have my seeds here of both pomegranates, and it is about maybe three cups or so of seeds. And now you have two options. I have my gloves on and wear something dark because this does stain. And you can either go in with a masher and just mash the juice out of the seeds or you can just go in with uh, your hands, put some gloves on, and you're just going to do this, okay? Until you get all of the juice out of the, uh, out of the seeds. And I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this agua fresca is truly a labor of love, <laughs> but it's worth it because it is quite uh, some work. So what I'm doing here is just, I'm towards the end of this, and you just want to grab your seeds and really, really mash them. And I was rubbing them between my hands and squishing them. I'm not going to do that right now because then I have to turn off the recording. You see, so that there's no juice. You want no juice in, in the seeds. And then we're just going to strain this uh, so we can get just the juice and get rid of all the seeds, okay? Okay, so here is our pomegranate juice. This is what it looks like. Okay. And I decided to also give you the recipe for uh, ponche de granada which is an alcoholic beverage that you can make. And I think it's great because it's vegan, you can make it yourself, and it's really, really delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the ponche. I was gonna make two separate videos, but I just decided I might as well just do it since I have the juice already. So what you would do is you would put the juice, like everything would be done to this point, okay? So where we have our strained juice, and then you would put it in whatever jar, container, um, I would do glass versus plastic, and let's say this is our jar container, okay? So we're just going to put in our juice right here, and then to the juice, I'm just going to do a little bit so you can see. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Uh, I would just do a little bit of it, and then you would add some, this is vanilla vodka, but I would just add regular vodka because you don't want anything that would be... Um, competing with the flavor. And then you would add some sugar to this, as sweet as you would want this to be. I think you add the sugar first and then you add the alcohol or maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So you would just, this would be to taste, as sweet as you would like your, it's called a punch, like a, like a fruit punch, but when we say ponche it usually means it has alcohol in it. So this is a ponche de granada, a pomegranate punch. And now you would taste it and see if... Mm. Oh man, this is so good. Okay, so let's say you put as much alcohol as you want and as much sugar as you want. And then this would be it. Okay, so now you would store this in the refrigerator. I would store it in the refrigerator because it does have fresh juice in it even though it does have alcohol. So just to be safe, you store it in the refrigerator uh, for at least a few hours, you know, preferably overnight. And then once you're going to serve it, let's say you served your punch in your glass, traditionally you would get some chopped uh, pecans and then you just put some of that on top. And that's how you would serve your punch with the pecans and that's how you drink it. Mm. But that's optional. Mm. But it does taste really good though. <laughs> so, if you guys want an alcoholic beverage that you can make yourself and you can wow your guests uh, for the holidays, this is a simple, well, simple but, you know, 
you know what I mean. There is some work to it, but it's really delicious. Okay, so now we're going to do the agua fresca. So to your juice, you would just add um, some water, depending on how diluted you want it. I don't add too much water because then, you know, you lose the flavor of the fruit. And then you would add your favorite sweetener, whether it's stevia or whatever sweetener you use. Then you would add your sweetener. Or you can do no sweetener at all and just drink it like that. Just add a little bit of water. Um, and then you store it in the refrigerator. You can add some herbs, maybe or fruit or something. And then that's it. You just taste it and see if you like it like that. And that's it. Okay, so this yielded about two and a half cups of liquid. And so I didn't add that much water to it because, like I say, I like the flavor of the pomegranate. And then now you would just transfer it to your jar. Your glass jar to be refrigerated and that's it that is that is the recipe it is so beautiful it is so delicious you guys oh my goodness this is one of my favorites um, one of my favorite agua frescas and also I was just thinking about it if you don't want to go through the trouble of you know de-seeding all your pomegranates and stuff I know that at like Whole Foods and stuff they already sell the seeds and then all you would have to do is just you know squish the juice out of it strain it and make your water or your uh, ponche. Okay, so I hope you guys give it a try and like it. And there you have it. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my goodness, the color is just gorgeous. I really hope that you guys enjoy this agua fresca. And let me know what you think, okay? Have a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.